today we speak to Yama Karim, a principal at Studio Liebeskind, tasked with designing the Van K Pavilion, with over 4,000 red metalized tiles and a unique, dynamic, vertical landscape for the Expo Milano 2015 in Italy. They wanted something that was clearly indicative of their culture, uh, being very collaborative, um, and, 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 and also their roots, uh, being Asia and China, which is an incredibly rich culture, and yet also uh, international and, and, and kind of out in the world. Um, so uh, their desire was to figure out how to balance those, uh, that background, um, that foundation that they had, and to do something that also looked to the future. As soon as we feel like we have a design direction that we're comfortable with and, and then it becomes a very interactive process. So that the changes in the evolution in terms of form, in terms of how it's articulated, in terms of how it's used, it's constantly evolving. And that's just a natural part of what we think is a good design process because it's supposed to be, a, it's an experiment. And it's something that we don't preconceive at the beginning. We have the idea but it's not a finished idea. One of the challenges was actually how to, how to produce a form that was, you know, it, it, it was a form that was drawn by hand. It was a form that was built in the computer. It was a form that was made physically in model form. So all, all the different mediums that we utilize, um, but, but how to, how to actually materialize this thing that ultimately became kind of developed or developed within the digital realm um, with physical input efforts. Um, um, we don't just let the computer drive our designs, uh, but how to actually materialize it in the real world. Once there's a design direction, there's, uh, there's a pretty um, set set of milestones and meeting nights and exchanges of information, but also exchanges of ideas. Uh, we uh, we like to make it very collaborative in the sense that we we want people to participate. We want our consultant team and client team. We want everybody to have ownership of the work. Uh, people tend to care more about the project. We get better results when people care, <laughs> when people feel that like this is part of their work and, uh, and that they're making contributions to it. For us, a historic or a, a historically situated or contextualized project doesn't mean it needs to look a certain way. It means more that it has to perform a certain way and it has to be respectful of its context, not, mim not through mimicry, but through a kind of an extension of its context because context is not frozen. For us, um, technology is really an extension of our imagination. And, and, and it's not something that is on the side of imagination or on the side of our practice. It's, it's really something that is helping us sort of realize uh, ideas. So there's a humanistic side to technology that's, that we really uh, think is very positive. And it's not just about data. Uh, and not just about the next sort of level of um, sort of uh, software and, and advancements. Uh, all those things are good, but it's how you use it and to what purpose. Click to subscribe and see more at builtworlds.com.